Welcome to the Gradelink Administrative Settings tutorial videos. You can access the Settings area by clicking on the Settings tab on the left-hand side of your screen. Here we see the Teacher tab within the Settings area, which shows options that teachers can view or access. Most of these are self-explanatory, but there are a few of these settings we would like to highlight. The first is the Communicate tab checkbox. If this is checked, it would allow teachers access to our email blast, and so teachers would be able to send an email through Gradelink to other staff as well as to parents of students who are in one of their classes. You can specify if you would like a staff member to receive a blind carbon copy of all outgoing emails by clicking on the staff page and using the drop down box next to notifications. Check the box next to Receive Copy of All Communicate Email. The second setting on the Teacher tab that is especially important is the Edit Concluded Classes checkbox. We recommend leaving this box unchecked. If the box is unchecked, then when a teacher finalizes their grades and concludes the class, they no longer have access to make changes to those grades. If you decide to allow teachers to make changes to final grades, the teacher must remember to reconclude the class after making changes. Don't forget to click Save Changes after making any changes to your settings. The Parents tab specifies what parents and students can see when they log into their account. The checkbox next to Allow Parents to View Bell Curve Graph of Assignments would allow parents to view a graph of all the grades that students in their child's class earned on a particular assignment. This would give parents an idea of how their student is performing on an assignment relative to other students in the class. The Show Teacher Email Addresses checkbox would make the teacher's email addresses visible on the parent-student interface. Show attendance comments would allow parents to view any comments that teachers or administrators have entered in, for example, out sick or doctor's appointment, with respect to attendance on a particular day. The Show Unofficial Transcript checkbox provides parents with a quick reference to any past report card grades in Gradelink. It is not usable as an official transcript from your school. If the need arises, any student account can be locked from the Students page, preventing login on an individual basis. The checkbox next to Lock All Student Parent Accounts, however, would lock every student parent account in your school. You could then type a lockout reason or message which would display to all your parents. An example of when this might be used would be at the end of the term if teachers are entering in a lot of assignments and a student's grades are fluctuating substantially within a day. If you prefer parents not receive such frequent grade change notifications, you can lock all accounts and display a message like, Grades are being finalized. Gradelink will be available again next week. The Show Publish Report Cards checkbox is a setting that would give you the option of making report cards visible to parents online. Even if you enable this setting here on the Settings page, you would still need to check the box next to Publish Online when you actually go to run a report card. At that point, the most recently published version of the report card would replace any previous version. On the Date Time tab, make sure that the start month and end months are accurate for your school. Also, verify that the time zone is correct for your locale. On the General tab, you can also set a default credit value to aid you in your class setup if most of your classes are worth the same amount of credits. 
That way, when you create a new class, this value would be automatically selected. The School Profile button is where you can update your school address and contact information. If you take attendance in the morning, the Daily Attendance Settings button is for making changes to your attendance categories. You can modi modify any existing categories. Report Card Title is what would display on the report card. Then use the check boxes to select which information you would like to display on the report card. If the multi-select box is checked, that would allow teachers to select that category as an attendance option for a student in conjunction with another category. So, for example, if multi-select is on for a tardy, that means that a student can be marked as both present and tardy. The present and absent value are useful for schools where a certain number of tardies adds up to an absence. For example, if four tardies is equal to one day absent, I would specify that a tardy has an absent value of 0.25. The specify non-school days button is for indicating those dates that fall within my term where attendance should not be calculated for the students. The description would be the title or reason for no school. For example, Memorial Day or Staff Development Day. I would then specify the date or date range and choose the appropriate attendance category. There is no need to specify summer breaks in here or breaks between your terms. The class attendance titles is for schools who take attendance multiple times throughout the day. Most frequently, this is used in high schools. You can modify these categories to meet your needs. A school may use both once per day attendance and class based attendance. On the General tab, you may check the box next to the appropriate attendance choice for your school. Check the box next to Daily Attendance if attendance is taken once per day in your school. Check the box next to Class-Based Attendance if attendance is taken in every class throughout the day. If your school takes both types of attendance depending on grade level, you may check both boxes. This concludes the training videos on the Administrative Settings tab. Thank you for choosing Gradelink and have a great school year!